Before I show you the new offset feature within Cricut Design Space, I wanted to make sure I spoke briefly about the most recent news from Cricut's CEO. So I'm sure as you all remember, on Friday, March 12th, Cricut announced the intention to limit the number of uploads that we could make to Cricut Design Space. And then again on March 16th, they changed that message slightly to say that everything would rem remain the same until the end of the year. And then on March 18th, made another announcement, and this is on their blog as well, you can read more about this, um, that they've made the decision to reverse the previously shared plans. So as of now, every member can upload an unlimited number of images and patterns to Design Space for free, and they have no intention to change this policy. So this is true whether you're a current Cricut member or are thinking about joining the Cricut family before or after December 31st, 2021. And I also wanted to make it very clear that Cricut does not pay me for these videos or anything I say within these videos. These are absolutely my own opinions based upon my experience with Cricut. So uh, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the new offset feature. The most recent Cricut update, Cricut Design Space update, is version 6.6. .6. So in order to see which version you're using and what the newest features are within that version, if you click on the three lines in the upper left hand corner, you can go ahead and expand the menu. And as you scroll down that list towards the bottom, you'll see what's new. So when you click on there, you can see new in 6.6, .6, project collections and offset. I'm going to show you the offset feature today. That seems to be the most um, popular new feature. Will be well used, especially for those that don't use any other design software. So it'll be good to know how to use this feature. So let's go ahead and get right into that. We are going to upload an SVG cut file that I created and it is actually listed for free on my website. You can download the SVG cut file, a PNG file, or a DXF file uh, for Silhouette and some other type cutting machines. So this file is available for free at designerprintables.com and you can search Lucky or Shamrock and it will come up. So let's go ahead and insert the image so we can explore the new offset feature in Cricut Design Space. We'll make the width six inches for now. And so now we have two different layers, two different colors in this SVG cut file. So we want the offset to go around the entire image, but we still want these to be separate cut elements because we want this, the Lucky, to be one color and we want the Shamrock to be another color. So in order to essentially attach each of these to each other for now so we can create the offset, let's select both layers, click on the offset drop down, and you can see a slider button here where you can increase the size of the offset. So essentially the offset is just creating an entirely new layer of your background with a stroke around it. So you're able to create that look of a background and then another image on top of it. So I like this size and we're gonna weld the offsets so they're not um, all separate elements. So we'll say weld offsets and click apply. So now it's gone ahead and created this background layer. If I hide these other layers, you'll be able to see pretty much what it did here. So I want these to be filled in with the same color. So I'm just gonna kind of create this little hack where I take another shape and I unrestrain the proportions and I'm going to shape it to cover those white spaces 
And then I'm just gonna go ahead and attach, or weld rather, these two layers together. So now it becomes one new layer. So when I slide that to the background, I won't have the white holes or the, the white spaces there. And now let's unhide these layers so they come back. And so when I cut this image, if I were to cut it right now, we'd have this darker layer in the background, dark gray, the lucky as black and the shamrock is green. So you can go ahead and still change all of these colors to whatever you would like. And then when you click make it, it's going to give you three separate mats. So you'll have your background, which was the offset. And then you'll have the text, which is the lucky. And then you'll have a green for the shamrock. So it would cut these three shapes out separately and then you would layer them on top of each other. So what I did was I used this to cut wood using my scroll saw. So I created the background and then also um, just made them as print templates to put on the wood. One thing that you want to be sure of is when you're creating your offset for the background, you want to make sure that your de design is pretty much final. Otherwise, you need to select everything together if you want to resize or rotate anything so everything stays together. Um, if you were to only select the offset, you would be only resizing that so it would be challenging to match back up perfectly